Hi SQL folks, welcome to another free tutorial from SQL Maestros. Today I am going to show you a few productivity hacks in SQL Server. There are just so many of them and a video, a tutorial like this could actually have different parts like part 1, part 2, part 3 and so on. So let's call this as SQL Server Productivity Hacks Part 1 where I'm going to show you 5 such productivity hacks and the idea is that these hacks will help you increase your productivity when you work with SQL Server. Now you could use them in any capacity whether you're working as a developer or as a DBA or just as a practitioner playing around with SQL Server. Uh, these uh, things will help you uh, increase your speed when you're doing this day-to-day -day stuff with SQL Server. Okay, so let's get started. The first one and it comes, you know, top of my mind is the go statement. Go, G-O, go, this is not really a T-SQL thing. It is a batch terminator and that's why we use the term go statement. And with this go statement, what you could do is put up a number. Like when you say go 10, you're telling SQL Server, this management studio batch terminator that you want to execute the preceding statement, the entire batch, uh, those many number of times. So when you say go 10, you're saying that I want to execute this batch 10 times. So let's see how this works. Very, very straightforward. I mean, you would probably know these things, but yeah, good as a refresher. So let's just execute this. Okay, let me change the database context. I think it's already to AdventureWorks 2016. First one, go statement, go with the number. So let's execute this and you can see that the batch gets printed 10 times. The query gets executed 10 times. Now, one very handy um, uh, area where, you know, this is very useful is, you know, when I write a query and let's say it's taking X number of seconds to execute and I'm kind of tuning that query. So what I want to do is, of course, there is a uh, another way, a, a better way, a proper way of stressing SQL Server with that query, like simulating multiple users. But sometimes just for a, a, a quick improvement, just to test if my rewritten version is doing better, what I do is I take the original query and I say go 10 or 20 or 50, whatever the need be and execute this entire thing. And then I record the total execution time in the status bar. And then you take the rewritten version and do the same with go the, the, uh, the, those many number of times. And then you can compare the execution performance, which means the original query being executed 50 times, how much time it has taken, and then the rewritten version executing it 50 times and how much time it has taken. Quick way of comparing. So that is just one of the examples where Go comes very handy, but there are just so many of them. And very, very popular, right, in this in the SQL Server world. Okay, so that was the first hack, Go X, right? Let's move on to the second one, another popular one from back in the days, which is Alt plus F1, which is like a, a keyboard shortcut in SQL Server Management Studio. You could change these shortcuts, by the way, uh, but Alt F1 is very, very popular. There's probably no reason why you would want to change this. So let's say you have this table, sales order header, and when I select this table and I press Alt F1, you would see the entire metadata of this table. The name of the table, owner, created time, all the columns and the uh, data types and all the metadata related to uh, the columns, the attributes, and whether you have identity, rogue it, where is it located, and all the index information. Very, very handy. So essentially, what is happening you're getting all the metadata about this table you are executing sp underscore help so basically alt plus f1 is a shortcut for the system store procedure sp underscore help so if you just do this you would see the same output also which is this is very popular let's move on to the third one third sql server query hack which query runs the most now this is not really a hack, but something that comes across uh, very commonly when we do a lot of performance tuning stuff with the clients. We want to find out which workloads are, are more frequent hitting the application, hitting the databases. And a quick way to do that is leverage 
use this DMV, DIM exec query stats. This has all the statistics related to ad hoc query execution. And it has an attribute called execution count. So all you are doing is finding out which query is uh, query or queries are um, executing, running the most. So let's just go and execute this. It gives you a lot of metadata. And if I just scroll down, here is the execution count. And you can just see, okay, this one, this query is the one that is executing the most. Okay, I know you what you're wondering, where is the query? Where is the select statement? Well, it's there here. This is your SQL handle. So all you got to do is just do a cross apply with sysdm exec SQL text right use that um, dmf dynamic management function do that cross apply and you can get the exact query text you all of you are smart enough to do that i'm sure let's move on to the next one when was the data last updated in the table you know uh, in in conversations across the table you know and when we're doing projects dbas developers they keep coming back with such things such requirements so where can you get this information now so Yes, you're getting it. This you're getting uh, guessing this right. This will be from another DMV, which is DIM DB index usage stats. Okay, let me just quickly change uh, to another database where I was just playing around. In fact, I was recording another video, so I created this database called Partition Lock Test. And here in this uh, database, there is a table called Customer. Uh, and a few hours ago, I had updated data here probably yesterday so let's just quickly see run this one okay and there you go let's execute this and yes customer uh, table there last user update database id mm -hmm. okay this is not uh, this should be okay yeah mistake there there you go okay so where you go table name customer and you have the database id and this is when this was last updated so all that information so yeah today i'm recording this video on the 7th may 2025 as i said yesterday we had done this update very handy as to finding out when was the last update made to the table the last one is nice. The last one is nice. And um, as for, um, in my opinion, the last one is not very popularly known. You just want to find out all the tables in your current database. Let's change the context to AdventureWorks 2016. There is a stored procedure SP underscore tables, right? Just execute this and you get a list of all the tables in AdventureWorks 2016 which are query able right so which means you can query these tables it will only show you those ones right so you get all your user tables which is what you worry most about and of course a lot of system catalogs out there and information schema views no not views i think yeah only only the system catalogs that's what it looks like uh yeah there oh there are no there are views as well queryable views okay fair enough so sp underscore tables i remember there is also something like sp underscore procedures that will give you a list of all the procedures yeah, does it work p r o okay let's just give this a try you know uh, stored procedures what will that be sp and stored procedures is it this? Yes, it is this. Okay, let's see if this works. Ah, there you go. So just like SP underscore tables, you have SP underscore stored procedures, which will give you a list of all the procedures in this current database. All right, five productivity hacks. This is part one. And yes, uh, uh, at some point I will do part two and I'll bring more. You know what I would recommend and I would really appreciate is if you're watching this video and you think, yeah, this content is good for the community, do share, do like. And in the comment, you put down your own hack, right? I mean, things that you use quite often in SQL Server, in Management Studio, any other tool that helps you increase your productivity, it makes you faster, just like you want SQL Server to run faster, things that make you fast uh, and make you more productive. Put that down in the comments with a few links, uh, examples of that, and people in the SQL Server community can read those comments and learn a lot from your contribution. That'll be great. 
And yes, uh, friends, do, uh, do not forget to check out the SQL Maestro's Masterclass recordings. Hop on to SQLMaestro's.com, check out the this recording, Masterclass recordings, the latest batch, 40 hours of deep dive content. And if you subscribe, you get a lifetime access, which is a huge deal. You are paying, you're subscribing, and you can watch the content anytime, anywhere, as many times as you want. Unlike a lot of other vendors on the internet where you got to renew each year, that's not the case with us. And that's pretty advanced content, a lot of deep dive stu stuff focusing on SQL Server performance tuning, troubleshooting, query tuning, and optimization. Yeah, check that out. If you have any questions, any questions at all, drop an email to our team at contact at sqlmaestros.com. And if you want to reach out personally to me, my email ID is amit.bansal at sqlmaestros.com. Would love to hear from you. Happy SQL.